So I had a bunch of people ask me to try to reconstruct this uh, 28 move speed solve that I had a few weeks ago uh, with my LMCF method. So this is not a tutorial for the LMCF method. If you check out my channel, you can see the tutorial and the um, documentation for this method. Um, I'd say on average this method is about as fast as RU or, or CFOP, but it does get you the chance of having some super lucky singles, which is what I got. Um, so. Anyway, I'll just go through the solve here and go through the, the mindset or the reasoning that I did while I was doing it. Um, the solve was only 8.88 seconds, so it wasn't like a world-class time, but I'm a really not a very fast solver. So like for someone who could turn way faster, they could have gotten like half that maybe or less. So anyway, um, solving the corners with, normally I'd solve the corners with EG. Um, and so in this case, what I did was I was going to solve a green face. Um, and I couldn't, I couldn't, there was too many moves in the face to see if I was going to, which case I was going to get for the, for the corner solve. Um, so anyway, um, I basically did, I did a U, R2, and then I got, basically I got a CL skip. Um, and so first thing I saw, as I always do in this method, is I look for oriented edge pieces on the top, and I also look at the E slice for possible like edges for my first E2L pair. So I see I had a, a blue piece over here and a green piece here. Um, and then I, I'm going to solve this piece. And so while I'm solving this piece, I'm looking at the E slice and the other parts of the cube. So I, I, go, I do a U, M, E2, M prime. Um, and I'm interested in this, this blue piece over here and this green one. Um, and so as I turn the cube, I can briefly see that there's a, it's white over there, and so that means it's a blue and white piece. And I immediately see that I have a super favorable uh, green and white piece here, which is going to go over here. And then I immediately see that this piece can be displaced into a triplet. Um, so, so I go F, and then I go U prime, M, U, M prime, F prime. And I solve those guys, and then I immediately do an L2 to bring the next slot up to the left. Um, so then I see I have two edge pieces left, so I do an, an R2, and that now the, the last edge piece for the left side is down here at the DF position, and this is like a, this is a triplet as well. And so I basically I solve all three edge pieces at the same time. So I, so I go M, F, U prime, M2, U, F prime. Um, and then all I have left is to permute the, um, the edges, and you can see that this guy is solved, so it's just U2, M, U2 M prime. Um, and so that's it. 28 moves. Um, obviously that's not going to happen on every solve. That's probably more like 1 in 500 or 1 in 1000 type of thing. Um, if you're faster at finger tricking than I am, then you know you could do that solve like really, really fast. Um, so let's see. I can try to finger trick it myself and see what kind of time I can get just now that I know the solve. So it'll be faster than the 888 obviously.